This Civic Media Podcast is sponsored by UW Organ and Tissue Donation. Organ donations are desperately needed, and now is the right time to become an organ donor. Talk to your family. Get the dot. Save lives. Go to HeroicDeed.com. Civic Media News. I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. Scientists in Wisconsin are leading a nationwide Alzheimer's study. The National Institutes of Health is giving the UW-Madison more than $150 million. It's the biggest NIH grant in UW history. The Kamala Harris campaign is making its closing argument to American voters. Democratic running mate Tim Walls campaigned in Racine and Madison yesterday. Our team is running like everything is on the line because everything is on the line. Walls made the case that Donald Trump would be dangerous with broad immunity from prosecution. He got some help from former President Barack Obama. We do not need to see what an older, loonier Donald Trump looks like with no guardrails. Obama says Americans are ready to turn the page. A wrong way drunk driver almost crashed into Vice President Kamala Harris's motorcade in Milwaukee Monday night. The sheriff says the driver pulled the inside shoulder to avoid the motorcade. A deputy pulled the driver over and arrested him. A fire has shut down a Jefferson County ethanol plant. Officials at the Ostalon Bio plant say the fire started Monday in one of the facility's dryers. Ostalon Bio calls itself Wisconsin's largest ethanol producer. It's open enrollment time for Medicare. People can change their plans from now until December 7th. Stephanie Fahuri is a Medicare advisor. She says make sure you know which plans your doctor will accept next year. Every year we see people make a change only to find out in January that their doctor is no longer in network. So we like to help people avoid that. Experts say it's important to compare co-pays and deductibles, not just monthly premiums. The new Glarus Brewery is expanding its operations with a new $55 million hospitality wing. The makers of Spotted Cow Beer say they want to meet the needs of visitors and increase their brewing and distilling space. We don't know if this means expanded hours for visitors. There's a groundbreaking next week. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Now here's what you need to know closer to home. For WRCE News, I'm Joanne Krulotz. Several key deadlines are rapidly approaching for eligible registered Wisconsin voters seeking to cast an absentee ballot before the November 5th general election. Municipal clerks are issuing in-person absentee ballots at the clerk's office or another designated location. The in-person absentee voting process involves a voter both requesting and completing a ballot on the same trip to the clerk's office or designated location. Municipalities may offer in-person absentee voting through Sunday, November 3rd. Thursday, October 31st is the last day for most voters to request an absentee ballot by mail, online, email, or fax for the November 5th general election. In practical terms, though, that results in an unrealistic time frame for the voter to complete the ballot and return it to their clerk by election day. Voters who still want to request an absentee ballot by mail should act immediately. Registered voters can make their request online at myvote.wi.gov. As a disaster relief volunteer working in hurricane-ravaged Florida, Green Bay real estate agent Mike Pritzel said he spends his days serving food, cleaning, and helping the residents of the shelter in any way he can. One of the things that we're tasked with is bringing compassion and hope for these people. It's heartbreaking, but, you know, I only have one tangible skill, and that's talking. So for me, to sit down for 10, 15 minutes and just listen, put a hand on a shoulder and say, hey, we're going to do what we can, it's really fulfilling. To discover ways you can help with disaster relief through donations, volunteering, or financial support, visit our Hurricane Help page at civicmedia.us slash help. The Riverdale FFA will host a haunted walk at the school farm Thursday from 6.30 to 9. Enter and park through the test plot entrance. Free will donations will be accepted. Those attending are to wear closed-toed shoes. It's free and fun for all ages. The Institute for Sustainable Infrastructure has awarded nine of Alliant Energy's solar projects with its highest award level, Envision Platinum, for the sustainable development, construction, and operation of the facilities. The nine projects total 664 megawatts and represent the successful execution of Alliant Energy's Clean Energy Blueprint, a roadmap to diversify its energy resources. Among the projects receiving the awards were Bear Creek, a 50-megawatt project in Richland County. At least 97.4% of all construction and demolition material was either sent to recycling facilities or diverted for beneficial reuse. 
and the Cassville 50 megawatt project in Grant County. Key stakeholders at the municipal and county levels expressed approval of the project and its execution based on Alliant Energy's proactive communication approach and its economic, environmental, and public health benefits for the community. The deadline is approaching to file to fill the vacancy in Supervisory District 6 of the Richland County Board of Supervisors. Those at least 18 years of age interested in being appointed as a county board supervisor from the vacant district can submit a letter of consideration to the county clerk by 4.30 Friday. The letter should contain your name and address and a brief statement of qualifications to serve on the county board. Submissions may be mailed to the Richland County Clerk Post Office Box 310 Richland Center 53581 or emailed to derek.kalish at co.richland.wi.us. The vacancy will be filled from the list of applicants at the County Board meeting Tuesday, November 19th at 7 o'clock. The 25th annual Safe Trick or Treat for Area Families will be held Saturday from 1 to 3 at Pine Valley Community Village. Children under 9 are to be accompanied by an adult. And that's what you need to know. I'm Joanne Krulotz. The Bucks without Middleton. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with Sports. Bucks head coach Doc Rivers began his press conference by asking the number one question on the mind of reporters. I wonder what you're going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> was Chris Middleton able to practice yesterday? No Chris today, so probably no Chris tomorrow. Yeah. Probably or just he's it's not. It's pretty 100%, yeah. so 99. The Bucks are in Philadelphia tonight against the 76ers for their season opener. Philly will be without Paul George and Joel Embiid. NFL, the Packers' Keyshawn Nixon hopes he can return a kick for a touchdown Sunday in Jacksonville against the Jaguars. Says he's kind of tired of being tackled by kickers and punters. I think I should have like seven touchdowns right now in the NFL, and all of them got stopped by a kicker. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way to make the kicker and punter miss, but they just take good angles and it's starting to irritate me. Rams, Kansas City, Philly. That's the Packers' Keyshawn Nixon. With sports, I'm Mike Clemens. On your entertainment beat, I'm Pete Schwaba. Tom Holland was in the news last week with an update about a new Spider-Man film for he and his girlfriend Zendaya. He's a busy guy as Variety is reporting Holland will be added to the new Christopher Nolan film opposite Matt Damon. As usual with Nolan films, the plot is being kept under wraps, so not much is known about Holland's role. The film is expected to start shooting in 2025 and is expected to hit theaters July 17th of 2026. Who's ready for a Paula Abdul Eddie Griffin film? A statement wouldn't have excited me even in 1998. However, the two are stars of the new film Raging Midlife opposite brothers Taylor and Nick Costa who also wrote the script. The story follows two friends obsessed with 80s wrestler Raging Abraham Lincoln. The Hollywood Reporter says the film will drop in early 2025 after its premiere at the Austin Film Festival later this month. Looking for something new to watch? Who isn't? Here's one of Pete's picks. If you don't have Netflix, don't feel bad. It's really expensive. But if you do have it, check out The Lincoln Lawyer. Season 3 just dropped last weekend. Manuel Garcia Rufo plays the title character and in my opinion is even more captivating than Matthew McConaughey's portrayal from the movie. The show is well produced and acted and you can't beat the source material. The Lincoln Lawyer is based on crime novels by Michael Connolly. The third installment of the Dune franchise is dropping hints about the new film. Dune Messiah will be set 12 years after the end of Dune 2. Timothy Chalamet has not been officially announced as part of the cast, but is expected to be in the film. Other cast members will include Florence Pugh, Christopher Walken, and Austin Butler. Aging Timothy Chalamet 12 years? I see a Best Makeup Oscar headed their way. For every episode of the DC show The Penguin on Max, Colin Farrell goes through hours of makeup prep. According to recent numbers, it's paying off, as Variety reports that the fifth episode of season one of The Penguin pulled in 1.8 million viewers. The show has added viewers with every new episode that drops. New shows of The Penguin premiere every Sunday night on Max at 10 p.m. Central. Do you have great acting chops? Smoke weed? Can you rap? If so, update your resume because Snoop Dogg is looking for someone to portray himself in a new biopic. The movie was first announced in 2022 and now the search is on as they are in the casting phase and seeking someone to play a younger version of Snoop. Between his role on The Voice, opening weed stores in LA and popping up at the Olympics and on NFL games, the dog father told Entertainment Tonight whoever plays young Snoop will have to be a phenomenal actor. For more showbiz fun, tune in to Nightlight with me, Peach Waba, weeknights from 6 to 8 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network. Mostly sunny today. We'll get to around 55 for a high this afternoon. So quite a bit cooler today. The wind will gradually decrease throughout the day. Tonight, clear and cooler, 33. Tomorrow, sunny, 63 with a shower or thunderstorm tomorrow night. After that, a fairly sunny, pleasant weekend ahead. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Currently, it's 51. The national news cycle never stops. 
but it can be hard to find news about your local community. Civic Media is dedicated to providing quality local and state news coverage across Wisconsin. With the Civic Media app, you can get notifications about local stories that matter to you and your community. Find the free Civic Media app in your phone's app store and choose notifications from the menu to tell us what kind of news you want to hear about. 